Do you want to stream Packard Pokesat on your iPhone or Blackberry? Download Stitcher free today at Stitcher.com. Stitcher Smart Radio, the smarter way to listen to radio. You're on in three, two, one. This is Packard Pokesat, and I'm poking at your news. Your news. Join us over from across the pond and join us for our photography section, which we do here once a month, will be Michael J. Burgess. He joined us from the Mography Photography Podcast, and he has uh, a, a review of a, of the uh, DSLR cameras, or, well, DSLR. He's going to explain what DSLR is. And then as soon as uh, we get done with that, we will be going into the uh, Focus on Photography section uh, on Facebook. If you go to uh, uh, Facebook, look for Focus on Photography. That's our uh, photography group. We give you an assignment, and uh, you go out and take pictures with your camera. So, and then put it on the page there. I want to thank everybody that submitted pictures from last month. They were all very, very nice, and I have put them all in a nice little collage video. Which, as soon as the show gets done, I've got it uploaded on YouTube, and it's just sitting there waiting for me to hit the a uh, public size button. So, as soon as that is, uh, you can head right over there and take a look at all the photos and. Uh, that were all put together like that. But anyway, without further ado, join us from the Mahogany for Photography. Jo- uh, 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 Michael, Michael. Hello. Hello. Join us from the. Yeah, he's across. From, he's joining us from across the pond, <laughs> as they say. Yeah. So like you were saying, I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about SLRs and what the, uh, uh, and what it is basically. Right. I'm gonna I'm gonna expl- uh, I'm gonna read tank from CNET here first, and it's the term digital SLR is short for digital single lens reflex so named because these types of cameras use a mirror positioned behind the camera lens to detect light towards the viewfinder when you're composing a photo when you release the shutter the mirror swings quickly out of the way letting the light from the lens travel straight to the sensor and momentarily blanking out the viewfinder. The viewfinder in an SLR incorporates a prism, usually a penta prism, that flips the incoming image around so that you ca- can see it right side up and bounce it into the focusing screen where you see it. Now, I got a, qu- I got a question for you, Michael. Now, yeah. you said that there's a there's a, a mirror inside there, and, it, and I didn't... Well, we in, in rehearsal, <laughs> as I like to call it. Uh, the camera, it says the mirror is in there, and it's there's must be, and it's being moved out of the way. There's some, or there's more mechanisms inside the camera moving this stuff around. So that's going to add weight to the camera, generally, isn't it? Well, uh, no, because once you take out the, um, I mean, I mean, the stuff that's in there. I mean, without the with the mirrors in there, if it's moving stuff around, it's it, it's there's going to be weight to it. But I mean. At, with the stuff, the digital ones, uh, the, uh, the there's no mirror in there now, so that takes a little weight off. Yes. Okay. Well, what it does with the, with the uh, by taking the mirror or uh, taking the mirror out, it takes a lot of the space away. But what it does is it just gets the computer within the camera just to flip it for you, which makes it makes it lighter, but also makes the camera safer. Whereas before you had to basically take off the lens and then add the new lens very quickly to stop dust and scratches and stuff getting onto the uh, to the mirror inside because if you damage that in any way then your camera is buggered. Now but I got a question you, for you. I got a question yeah. for you. Now if dust gets on the lens, that's that's extremely hard to clean. Is it has to also be professionally cleaned, or can can somebody like you and I just do that on our own, like to go in there? <laughs> Like that. Uh, I'd su- I'd suggest if you're if you're an amateur photographer, then you would get it professionally done, which here in Britain's about what fifty pounds. Mm-hmm. But if you if if you're like me heavy. and know what you're doing, you can get special equipment that you can buy for uh, twenty pounds off of Amazon. Okay. Which you can spray, like it gives you a little spray you can spray in there, and it gives you little cloths and stuff. But they're like specialized ones, so that it doesn't damage the lens in any way, but actually gets off the dust. They're like a uh, electro uh, electronically charged, basically. Oh, they're I not see. charged enough. Yeah, come on. 
Uh, I, I see now. that Okay, so because the dust has a static charge to it, that's why it's sticking to the yeah. sensor and everything inside there. Yeah, the dust has a, a negative charge. So basically what it does with this cloth, you get a you get a cloth which is uh, positively charged. And it's not positively charged, it will hurt you in any way. Um, Obviously not. You, may get a slight, you might get a slight tingling sensation slightly every now and then. But if you uh, with this cloth, you just rub it on there, and all the dust sticks to it. And oh. you you can only get, you only get to use it once. So I suggest you, you're you going to do that. Get you, you can't reuse it. You you can't reuse those cloths once they're once you've used them. They're they're you, they're done. You can't use them ever again. No, really. No, that's interesting. yeah. Because that's cause a, once it's once it's stuck on there, then it's permanently stuck, basically. So uh, is it the whole cloth, or just the, or you can use like part of the cloth, maybe, or is you? Oh, you, you have can to use, use. You can use part of the cloth. Okay. And then use another part later on, and that sort of thing. Oh, okay. But what I meant by that was you can't then go and well, with with some cameras you have to use the whole thing depending on how dirty you've actually got it. So ah. like if you were out down at the beach and it was a very windy day, then you have to use the whole cloth. Oh, I see. I see. So they they always come in a pack of fifty though. Oh, so you well, always that's get good. enough to last you i was gonna say one cloth 50 bucks oh no i gotta buy you know that's that's a pretty good racket <laughs> oh no no when i say 50 bucks it actually gives you like a <clears throat> a thing for your lenses as well which uh a little liquid you can put on and it gives you like a, a little special cotton bud as well and that you can rub all that off and get all your dirt and that off and it also gives you what they call a a scratch spray ah which which you like like you can get for cars now where you can they like they call it scratch away or something and um basically what it does is it doesn't just cover up it like it takes out the scratches that you put onto your camera oh that's that's interesting that's it i didn't so, i thought it's getting scratches out, i thought that would have to be professionally buffed out or anything or the part have to be replaced uh, just real quick here join the uh, joe uh, unseen in the chat room he said uh, you need a dirty camera for taking dirty pictures so <laughs> i don't know how true that is but <laughs> Well, um, how do I answer that? <laughs> how do you answer that one, Michael? <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'll let you think about that. Uh, <laughs> maybe we can answer that next time. Uh, before, uh, So we should get really get going uh, on this. Uh, let's get to the, the photos that were chosen for the uh, photography segment uh, for our photography challenge from last month. Uh, and again, I want to thank everybody that submitted a picture at the Focus on Photography group on Facebook. Uh, and we're going to have uh, tonight's uh, photography assignment is what, Michael? What is our new assignment for the month of January? I would like you to take a picture of something funny, cool, and interesting. Funny? And that's all I'm going to say. I'm going to leave it up to you then. Funny? Funny, cool, and interesting. Funny, cool, and interesting. Funny, cool. And I'm gonna, and I'm not gonna say any more because I'm gonna leave that up to you. Okay. Talking primate just said they're all three and one. No, it doesn't have to be all three and one. Uh, that would be nice, but it doesn't have to be. Oh, okay, yeah. All right, great. I just thought it would be something interesting. Okay. Funny, cool, and interesting. Well, all right. Well, Wisconsin is pretty funny and and cold right now. And uh, well, the interesting part is that's a whole other issue. No. <laughs> Oh, that's what I was going to say. When I say cool, I don't mean as in cold. I mean oh, as in like the little slang term, cool. I got gotcha, you. I got gotcha. you. I'm just having a little bit of fun with you, Michael. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> it feels like a dream. <laughs> well, over here at Pecker Pokes, it's always a dream. Uh, <laughs> it's just a dream of being here. You're poking at my dream. <laughs> poking at the dream. You can join Michael on his podcast at mografyphotography.wordpress.com, and he is also on iTunes. So you can find him there. Uh, this last week, he did a uh, podcast with Dan, who used to be on the show here. He hasn't been on the show in a while. Uh, is uh, real unrelated, and uh, on Twitter, and uh, it was a very informative and fun podcast for that show. So if you're out on iTunes, perusing what to look for, uh, give uh, his uh, show a follow. Uh, Michael, let's take a look at that first picture, and here it is. Oh, there we go. Hey, look at that. It's trees. Since we had the option of the uh, the thing of tilt, uh, what is uh, th what is the the real elevation to tilt with this uh, particular picture there, Michael? Well, what attracted me to this picture here, it, I thought it was a, a a fascinating photo because 
and um, I've talked about on my own podcast before rule of thirds mm -hmm. now a rule of thirds is where you get the what you're taking and wanting to people to have their eyes focus on directly in the middle and what that means is is you get the lines from the each corner from up and down and left and right exactly centered so that when um, you take it your eyes focus on exactly what you want so with this picture I liked it because of the fact that you can tell that the person's had to go on their knees and point the camera upwards huh. now when they've done this they've basically made your eyes focus on the sky above but what they've cleverly done is made it so that your eyes have to go from the bottom of the photo upwards and if you notice carefully when looking at the photo your eyes will slightly continuously do that even if it's ever so slightly but you'll notice your eyes go back down to the bottom momentarily and then back up again and that's a good thing about rule of thirds because it always makes you focus on what they wanted by making you always slightly move your eyes about hmm. oh by the way we should mention that this photo is by aaron uh gherkin Kemp kempfer he just joined the focus on photography group almost at the last minute and he got this photo in and he says it's a couple of years old but is it's still one he took it's it's a very nice picture all right let's see uh, let's show the uh next picture here is from our person who is not here tonight because she is not feeling well uh that would be crystal says so now this uh it's a nice little tree that's going on here with the angle the tilting of the, the branch out into space at least that's what i'm seeing of the picture what what are you seeing michael you're you know more about this photography stuff than i do i mean i'm a, i'm an amateur <laughs> That's all right. Um, uh, with this photo, what I'm seeing is basically I'm I'm seeing the the tree tilting slightly uh -huh. and the picture taken straight. Now, what what we're seeing here is the thing that gives us the tilt in this photo is more the branches coming off because as they're coming off, they're going off in an angle, uh -huh. which gives us the, the gives us the tilt. Now, I think the reason why most people like this one is because of the fact that you've got the concept of tilt in there. But you, but it's more of the color scheme in this one, which has attracted people. Huh. Because if you notice slightly, what she's done is, is she's got the blue from the sky, the white from the clouds, and the green from the trees in the background, right. all making their own line. And if you notice, ah. because of the way she's taken the photo, there's also a nice tilt there as well. So yeah. that that sticking to the element of tilt, but also making it interesting to the point of you've got to kind of look at it and go, right, that's sky, that's clouds, that's trees. Uh -huh. And then you get that concept of, now this is another third you can get called colour thirds. Hmm. Now what you do with colour thirds is you focus on a grey or a white area. Now in this photo, they focused on a white area. And what that does is that tells the camera, right, this is where the color is coming from so the color in this picture is bright so by the color being bright the camera has to work out okay let's turn the tone down a bit right so then right. that way you get the focus of color that you're actually after hmm. so if you're if you're doing a black and white photo you would uh, for example you'd focus on a gray area so that you get a dark you get a bright photo and if you're doing a color photo you have two options where if it's a dark day focus on something white and if it's a bright day focus on something gray or black huh. and then w another thing with the tilt is with the branches on the top of the tree in the foreground here you've got the the fact that the leaves bounce off like that and that gives us another tilt so in this photo you can actually see millions and well not millions but you can see quite a few tilts and huh. angles going down absolutely that's yeah that's i would have never saw that in that picture but uh yeah that guess you look at it a tilted ass tree you won't be looking at it quite the same again <laughs> especially if you get your camera with you so oh yes absolutely all right well thank you so much michael uh for uh, telling about why these particular one's got the the most likes and everything like that remember we got the it's cool what was, what was it again michael it was what it cool. was cool funny and interesting cool funny and interesting all right so get those cameras out everybody we'll have we'll have the uh we'll be meeting back here in about a month on this segment so you can get your photos in and see what we got okay let's get to our uh, next topic